Today I'm sharing with you the best trading strategy for 2024. I wish I knew as a beginner. As a beginner trader in 2024, the main focus should be the higher time frame. Simply because they move much slower, you can analyze properly and make the right decision. So for the best strategy possible, I like using three moving averages. The 20 moving average marked in orange, the 50 moving average marked in blue, and the 200 moving average marked in green. Now traders all around the world, whether they are organizations or retail, Retail traders follow the moving averages all the time. So having them on the chart will definitely help you out. Now, simply what we want to do is use support and resistance on the monthly time frame to mark high probability trading setup. So the first area of support I can see on the monthly time frame is over here, simply because buyers around the world really loved this price level. And every time the candlesticks touch that area zone, it pushed the market further up and we can do the same thing for the resistance line where the top level is met we want to kind of retest this area zone or break this area zone for a high probability setup so just mark the area of support and resistance that you think is likely going to react the most now that we have our key area levels all we want to do is draw the trend on the monthly time frame and this is all we really need so since we established that the market is trending towards the upside that's what we want to do because we always want to follow the overall market direction we never want to go against it especially as a beginner now here's the important bit that will require patience but it will reward you once you do it correctly we want to head over to the four hour time frame now and see what's going on so currently we are in between our monthly area of resistance zone and also our monthly area of support level so what's important we want to be waiting for a break of the monthly area of resistance or support since the monthly time frame is telling us that likely it's going to be a push towards the upside we want to be waiting for a monthly area resistance break in this case we can also see the moving averages reacting to the candlesticks look at this every single time it touched the 200 moving average it went towards the upside that's great price action all of the three moving averages are being below the candlesticks which is telling you that the trend is going towards the upside so all we want to do now is patiently wait and see what happens you don't want to be trading at the moment because it's not really a high probability setup as we can see it goes up goes down currently pushing up one more time you don't want to be messing around in between the monthly area resistance and support let the market play about let it do its thing be a patient trader it will reward you much more a one good trade beats 10 bad ones trust me now if we continue looking we are now approaching our monthly area of resistance right this is a strong area zone where a lot of sellers could be pushing the market further down but what you want to do is wait for all the orders to be exhausted right so you never want to be stuck in a trade at the moment trading towards the upside thinking that the resistance is suddenly gonna break it's not gonna break 100 guarantee because it's monthly area resistance there's just too many orders around the world trying to sell at this level so you want to wait for that first wave of orders to vanish before everything calms down a little bit and you get that perfect price level you can enter your trade on so we are waiting at the moment let's see what happens as we can see some pushes towards the downside we see a little rejection kind of consolidation again a kind of consolidation then it breaks the 50 this is why you don't want to be entering at the moment as we can see even though we've broken the monthly area resistance on the four hour time frame doesn't necessarily mean that it's broken on the monthly or the weekly time frames as we can see it hasn't broken it yet this is the monthly time frame so let's come back to the four hour wait a little bit more see what happens you see breaks plays about then pushes towards the upside this is what you want you want that push towards the upside before you enter the trade and you always want to check the monthly area of resistance as well to see where the candlestick actually closed because if this candlestick over here did not close yet it could pull back the last day of the month and actually respect this area of resistance and you get stuck in a bad trading position but since on the monthly time frame it clearly closed high than this previous area zone right and a new candlestick started this is a safe zone now to think okay we had the break 
what happens next. So the market moves in three cycles, a push, exhaustion, push cycle to retest or either break towards the upside. So this is what's important. We're currently seeing a strong push towards the upside. It's like a rubber band effect. If you stretch it out, it comes back, right? So that's the stretch. It comes back to the previous area of sensitivity or the 200 moving average if the exhaustion is quite uh, substantial. So let's see what happens. It goes towards the downside, has a little pullback, breaks the area of 50 moving average. We are retesting the monthly area of resistance, which was previously over here. But since it was broken towards the upside, the monthly area of resistance becomes a monthly support line, like a floor for the candlesticks, right? Where they actually bounce towards the upside. So this is good. This is what you're waiting for. Now, when this happens, a push exhaustion back to the previous area of sensitivity, this is where you want to be prepared to enter your trade. So for the, for the most favorable scenario, what you want to do, let's see. We don't want to enter yet. We want to be breaking the two moving averages. And let's see if we get one. We didn't break yet. We are waiting, 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 waiting. Let's see. It bounces off the 200 moving average. Are we going to get a nice favorable trading position? Somewhere over here. Perfect. This is where you want to be entering your trade. Specifically, if we just zoom in, we want to be entering on this pin bar over here. But why would we specifically want to be entering here? Well, that is very simple. If we have a look, zoom in, this previous area of small, lower time frame resistance has been broken. This was a new high. It bounced off the 50 moving average, which is really, really good. You know that this area zone is now monthly support right so the market is currently sitting on a monthly support it had that exhaustion back right after that push towards the upside and we also have all the free moving averages nearby on the four hour time frame so what we can do is enter our long position on this nice candlestick and all we want to do is cover the 200 moving average as well just over here because most of the time even if the market pulls back a little bit more the 200 moving average is so strong it likely will push the market back down so this is kind of your last chance to kind of save the trade and that's what i like to do personally so now we want to find out where we want to take our profit so all we want to do is reverse engineer everything go through monthly weekly and daily time frames to find the most optimal target level so monthly time frame I would say somewhere over here. Let's mark weekly. Yes, still sitting at the same kind of top level. Going back to the daily. Oh, the daily, as we can see, candlestick close was here. So this is your area of resistance now on the monthly, weekly, and daily time frames. And this is where a lot of sell orders are going to be. But now you have this gap over here where likely the market is going to push towards the upside. And this is where your chance is to make a ton of money, right? So as we can see, if we increase it, there we go. 284 pips, uh, 1.93 risk to reward over here. We would be entering off the four hour time frame. Let's just delete that and see how the market actually reacts and that's all you want to do you want to set and forget this trade this is the best trading strategy there is i'm telling you as a beginner you will be smashing the forex markets and as we can see it eventually reaches your target profit low now of course you can't predict the markets 100 we are always speculating so what you want to do is manage your risk and you would manage your risk by simply targeting your first take profit to maybe the same one as your stop loss then you could move your stop loss to entry position to not lose anything take maybe 50 percent of your profit over here and let the trade to run to the you know the next target profit level which would be around 300 pips and this is the best way and the best beginner trading strategy in 2024 i can guarantee it if you apply this correctly and patiently you will be passing your ftmo challenges without a doubt and since now there's no time limit it's so easy to pass a trading challenge if you're just patiently waiting for the right trading setups and this is only one currency pair imagine you're trading 30 
currency pairs. One of them is going to be near a price level that's going to be important. And this is the currency pair you want to be focusing on. Trust me, this works. It's proven and tested multiple times. And a lot of the times I use this for my trading signals as well. We've been smashing it two weeks of no losing trades at all at the moment. And we are planning to smash it this week as well. If you want to join, link down in the description below. If you want to learn in-depth support and resistance, here's a trading video as well. It's really good. It's actually a course I made. And yeah, without further ado, peace out, lions. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe and goodbye.